When Thomas Edison started this whole electricity thing, he probably had no idea that we'd all become slaves to it. The thing that's never been perfected is what we do when the power goes out. How do we stay in touch when we're wattage challenged? Allie Ward may have the answer. Cell phones and cell towers are just about everywhere, keeping us connected on city streets and even outside the urban jungle. But when technology fails us and we can't get messages out, life as we know it can get kind of tricky. They say necessity is the mother of invention, and in the case of two siblings in New York City, they figured out a way to stay connected, even when the grid goes dark. Meet Daniela Perdomo and her brother Jorge Perdomo. Together, this Brooklyn-based duo and their team came up with a device called Gotenna. It helps keep communication alive, even when all signals have gone dead. The idea came in two stages. First, my brother was talking a lot about big, dense festival situations when you can't communicate. But then during Hurricane Sandy, which I experienced here in Brooklyn, a fourth of all cell towers went down and power went up in the entire city. Designed for use in both emergency and non-emergency situations, Gotenna allows you to text and share your location with other Gotenna users in range. I caught up with Daniela and Jorge in Brooklyn, New York to find out how it works. So what do you need in order for your Gotenna to function? You need a Gotenna, a phone, um, or any iOS or Android device that has a Bluetooth connection, and then the app on that device. And that's it. You don't need service. You don't need anything else. So if it doesn't need cell service or Wi-Fi, what does it use? I put this question to Jorge, and he agreed to give me a quick lesson and then a chance to test it out. What we really like that we've done here is that we have married the best of the smartphone, the user experience of the modern smartphone and the GPS and the sensors and all the things we've already invested in with the old school reliability of RF technology. And RF meaning? Radio frequency. Got it. So you're using slick smartphone applications, user experience, but you're using radio frequencies which are more reliable instead of being part of a huge network that could go down. Absolutely. Okay. So Georgia, you are going to make me go 10 illiterate. Okay. In like a minute. Yes. Okay. It's very simple. So step one is you get your Gotenna mm -hmm. and you turn it on, which you do by pulling on the antenna out. Oh, that's the antenna. That's it. Oh. Yeah. And now throw it in your pocket or put it on your backpack or wherever it is that you want to carry it mm -hmm. and open up the app on your phone. Okay. Once a Bluetooth connection is established between your devices, you just open the app and text as usual with any other Gotenna user in range. All right. Okay. And now I'm connected. In the city, that range might be about a mile or two, but on a mountaintop, for example, the range can reach up to 50 miles. I kind of want to try this. I want to go, like, run a mile in that direction on airplane mode and see if you can tell where I am. Go for it. By run, I mean walk. Okay. I'm just saying. I'll walk this okay. way. I'm just like... <laughs> I'm going to type, let's get cheeseburgers. And on some other street corner in Brooklyn, Georges waited, then received my message. A fun and useful technology that the Perdomo siblings hope will inspire others to build on. I like the fact that we are enabling people to connect with each other in a different way than, than before. And I feel like history has shown that if you allow people to connect with each other, they can do great things. And we hope we can allow them to do that as well. I'm going to say, hey. I'm gonna do a lot of A's. Can I write as many A's as I want in hey? Absolutely. 